Hello guys and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Let's talk about the Toy Story realm. Let's, before we talk about every single piece of news that we have about it, let's watch the trailer. I've watched the trailer probably like a few weeks ago, but I want to refresh my memory, so let me put my headphones on. All right, so a few things I wanted to point out. It says uh, coming this fall, and the fall is almost over. So first of all, let's try to speculate where exactly are they going to come. Uh, my guess would be around uh, like really, really the end of November, because we have Star Path in the game right now that expires like literally now. So in about a, like less than a week, they usually give us like a week after each Star Path to. Uh, claim all the like buy all the stuff we maybe forgot to buy hi this is Terrence guy from the future so right before i was gonna upload this video the news came out we have exact date it's gonna be december 6 is the date of the update when the toy story update is coming so yay uh, i guess it's a week longer than i thought it was gonna be but it's still pretty soon uh first of all i have a few questions there's a few things that are pretty cool first of all this is gonna be uh, the I'm assuming it's going to be Buzz's home. And this is going to be Woody's home. It looks pretty damn cool. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of items in here you can see too. I like it. I like it. Also, like, here it looks like we become small. Maybe when we go to their world. Or, like, look at this. Why am I so small? I like you already. So it looks like when we interact with them, we become small. Or maybe it's just in their realm. Or maybe it's just inside their houses. So I'm kind of curious how is that going to be implemented. Alright, the thing I wanted to talk about is that the Toy Story content update will be considerably bigger than Scar's update. That's what has been said by the lead producer. And... We can speculate, what does it mean considerably bigger? Scar's update brought us a whole new location, which is the cave. And it brought us... Well, you could say it brought us piece of the main story. Well, it technically didn't. We, the, we, we didn't really get... The only, I think, story quest that we got was to, uh, to like, do the Scrooge's quest to decorate the Sunlit Plateau. And I think it was a quest to... I'm pretty sure that all the cave quests were the part of the Scars quest. So we didn't really get much of the main story. But technically, Scars' story, Scars' friendship quests, they tied into the main story. So maybe we're going to have the same with Buzz and Woody. Obviously, they made it pretty obvious that we're going to be able to unlock both of them from their realm and bring them to the village. Which means the total count of villagers that we can have is going to go up to 20, which is incredible. And, uh, yeah, they're probably going to have their own friendship quests, which will tie into the main story. I think it's totally fine to, uh, like, to have story quests be entangled with uh, characters' quests, because those are, like, usually they tie into each other and lead to one big story. Each of like the scar story revealed a lot of things about the main story, so it's probably going to be the same with Voodie and Buzz. Uh, but considerably bigger, it might also mean that we're getting just two characters, which means two quest lines uh, versus one with Scar. 
And also maybe we're gonna get more items because it's not just one character, but the whole new realm and probably the whole battle pass is gonna be themed around Buzz and Woody. So we're gonna be getting lots more items. That's just my guess, but maybe it means that there's gonna be surprises that we do not expect and that might be bigger than we thought. We'll see. Okay, another article. Uh, basically, so far, what we know to be included. A Toy Story rail set in Bonnie's room from Toy Story 3. Okay, I should probably refresh my memory and watch Toy Story movies before this update comes out so I don't, don't like, show myself like a complete fool. I did watch a couple of the movies a long time ago, and honestly, I don't remember much except the names of the characters and like general ideas but i definitely need to rewatch it so i'm i'm i'm, I'm well versed in what's coming up so i could recognize all the references thank you very much new characters including buzz and woody new closing themed around toy story makes sense more surprises which could include new dishes new quests new furniture and new music new music would be nice i would love to hear some new music uh, this article also speculates a little bit about the future updates after Toy Story. Uh, we're probably not getting anything until 2023 after this update. I mean, not probably, for sure. No major content updates. And also, the game is rumored to go free-to-play next year. So we might have maybe one or two updates before it actually becomes free-to-play and is flooded by tons of new players, which will hopefully make it easier for them to test things but also it might it might make their servers overload and make the game crash and lag even more we'll see what happens hopefully they're gonna get on top of it very quickly it's possible to speculate based on what we've seen so far which is the mix of older and newer franchises as well as side characters and villains like ursula scar maui and Kristoff. We also have seen some characters like Belle in official art, so we can definitely say they'll be coming to the game. I mean, there is 40 freaking realm rooms. There is no character going to be there that's not going to be coming to this game. So, But also, having so many characters come to the village will mean that we're going to have so many more houses. And that also means we're going to we're gonna need a lot more space in the village. So I'm assuming they're going to have to expand the area sooner than later. Because even with the next update, two more characters, two more houses... We're going to need more space very soon. So these are some of the, so some of the franchises that already kind of got leaked by uh, like arts, trailers in the game, like Belle in the title screen, so Beauty and the Beast, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch, there, there was already like a bunch of motifs with them as, as well, so that makes sense they're going to be coming. Raccoons look like Miko. I, I haven't watched Pocahontas, I'm sorry. More Tangled, that would be cool. More Lion King, definitely a lot of potential with the Lion King. Incredibles, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see and find out. Okay, this article basically speculates that the next update after Toy Story is gonna be Beauty and the Beast, which the other article also speculated about, but this one has a little bit more information. Posted on November 17 in response to the comment, please bring Beauty and the Beast in a sap. Gameloft replied, We'll have to wait and see what's coming in the update after this one. Given their lack of response to other character suggestions, this heavily implies that Belle and her entourage will be appearing after the Disney Dreamlight Valley Toy Story update. That makes sense. It, everything is pointing towards it, but again, so far we haven't seen any definitive proof. She and, uh, like, Belle and Stitch are the two remaining characters in the splash screen, so it only makes sense that those are going to be two characters that we're gonna get before the game goes free to play, which should be very soon. So it's it's pretty easy and like pretty probable that the next two updates are gonna bring us, after Toy Story, are gonna bring us Beauty and the Beast, franchise with Belle and maybe somebody else, and also Lilo and Stitch after that, or maybe before that. And by doing that, th their final like splash screen image actually gonna make sense for the time when the game releases because all of the characters in there are gonna be in the game so that's that's pretty big piece of information there and pretty seems pretty probable to me so the bonnie's room is gonna be the actual realm so that's the whole realm is gonna be just one room which is which is kind of huge considering if we're gonna shrink down 
uh, so, so basically it says here, once you get into Bonnie's room for the first time in Dreamlight Valley, you'll shrink down to the size of the toys, making it easier to talk to the new characters and complete their quests. That's incredible. I don't think it's going to be happening in, like when they come back to the village. I think they're going to be small. But also Remy is small, so it's not going to be the first small character in the game. I, I kind of like it. This is pretty good. <laughs> Once back in the village, you'll return to the normal size, while little Remy might find some small new friends in, in the two sentient toys. That's exactly my idea. We need more small characters so Scar can terrify them and maybe eat them one day. Who knows? Oh yeah, I definitely have enough dream light to unlock Bonnie's room. How much it did? I have 50,000. I'm stacked, baby. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. That's all the information we have so far about the upcoming update. And if you hear anything else, let me know in the comments. Maybe there is some breaking news that's gonna arrive after I made this video. So let's stay up to date. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content and take care. Mm -hmm.